Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Maple Ridge Chrysler. My name is Jamarley and today I'll be showing you this 2015 Chrysler Town & Country in black. This vehicle is amazing. I'm going to show you a bunch of reasons why you should come down here and check it out for yourself. Paired with these halogen headlamps, we also have your fog lamps down here at the bottom actually making it possible for you to see in low, um, low visibility conditions as well as properly in the dark. Under this hood is a 3.6 liter V6 VVT Pentastar engine. This engine actually is powerful, great on the fuel economy, and it's actually really award-winning and it'll make sure that you can get where you're going when you need to be there down here we have our 17 inch completely aluminum rims wrapped in Kumo Solis tires these tires are actually filled with nitrogen as you can tell by that green cap there nitrogen stays at more equal temperature throughout the year reducing your leakage and increasing your fuel economy to the side of the vehicle we have our breakaway mirrors they bend both to the front and to the back in the case of a minor incident they'll move out of the way instead of you having to replace them these mirrors are also heated for the winter time now let's step inside now we're about to step inside the vehicle. All we have to do is there's the lock button locks all the doors. When you press it once, you unlock once for the driver's side and twice for the rest of the vehicle. Now stepping inside in the driver's side of the vehicle, you will notice that we have our power mirror controls, power window controls, and our power locks. There's a great amount of storage in this door as well as a water bottle holder and a light in order to help you see in the dark. Coming down here to the side of the vehicle, you will notice that you have your power seat controls doing the um, up and down, the back and forth, and adjusting the back. As well, you have back lumbar support allowing you to stay supported properly during those long drives, making sure that you leave the vehicle with less aches and pains. Coming up here to the side of the vehicle, you will notice that you have your headlamp controls. These controls, you can actually just set them on auto and forget them, and they will adjust according to the brightness of the day and turn on and off with the vehicle, making sure that your battery doesn't run out. You also have your park brake, your hood release in order to see your engine, as well as we're coming in here to turn on the vehicle now, and I'm just gonna put the key in the ignition and turn it on. Now you're currently looking at your cluster display, which is currently showing you the direction we're facing, the temperature outside, proving that it's warm here, and it's alerting me that there's low fuel in this vehicle. It also has 18,739 kilometers. That's a very low kilometer vehicle. As well, it is showing our speed in kilometers. We're not moving, so it's zero. You can also switch nice, quick, and easy to miles per hour making sure that when you cross the border, you can keep on the speed limit. We can also go back and see our trip information, our fuel economy. We can also see our vehicle information, such as our coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, etc. And you can see your messages screen that will allow you to um, keep your vehicle nice up to date and tuned up, making sure that you don't miss a thing like changing, like updating your airbags or changing your oil. Coming out here to the steering wheel, you'll see your voice recognition controls right here on the wheel. All you gotta do is use those to answer to your phone calls or your text messages while keeping your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, making sure you're legal and safe. You also have these buttons to control that digital display as well you have your cruise control settings. Coming over here you have your shifter which we're just going to toss right now into reverse and show you that you actually have a backup camera which is a great feature. Coming to the center, you have your uh, touch screen settings with the media center. You can actually use Sirius satellite radio, which is equipped in this vehicle, as well as AM and FM, of course. You have voice recognition control buttons here along the side. As well, you have your built-in hard drive, allowing you to store media on the go, using as well as music and photos, etc. You can also connect other devices via USB or auxiliary. Coming down here, you'll see your classic analog Chrysler clock, as well as your climate controls for both the driver's side on this side, the passenger side, and the rear, as you can see there. There's also heated seats and a heated wheel in this vehicle. You also can put in your Blu-ray disc in your Blu-ray player here for the rear. As well, you can load other CDs and DVDs in this player up here. There's a great amount of space down here at the bottom. 
you have storage in here, your large cup holders, more storage and change holders, two large glove compartments. Up above we have our controls for our doors, as well we have our remote control for the garage. Now let's step around to the back. Now stepping to the rear of this vehicle, you'll notice that this vehicle is full of tricks and little hiding places. And one of the great features about this vehicle is that you can actually use the remote to open doors as well. You can use the handle. You can just pull on the handle a little bit and the door will automatically go back. As well as if you want to use the remote, all you got to do is double tap and the door will move away. It's pretty much magic. Now stepping into the back seat, you will, I want to point out one more thing about the front. is that we have these active headrests in the front seat area making sure that in the case of an accident, your head will actually, um, they will adjust in order to reduce the movement of your head, reducing injury. We also have seat back pockets here. And in the center on the roof, we have our climate controls for the rear. As well, we have your screen right there, another storage area, and another screen for the back, which means there's two screens for the two different rows, which is a great feature. And one of the another amazing features about this vehicle is the amount of storage it has. I'm just going to push the seat back a little bit and I want to open up the floor where you'll see a great amount of storage beneath. Great for the shopping bag trips and well when you go to Costco or whatever you can fill it all up and not have to worry about bags rolling around with your fruit all over the floor. As well this vehicle sports the exclusive stow and go um, features where all you got to do is fold up the armrest and pull this but this uh, lever here and it happens really quickly and it folds away nice quick and easy into the ground nice quick and easy did that with one hand while holding a phone and filming there's also your third row of seating with the 60 40 split and here on the side you have your uh, USB power outlets you have your 115 volt AC plug right here it's a three plug plug as well as a DC plug and some import inputs for your screens coming around to the back I want to point out that we have our uh, retractable roof rack on the ceiling as well I'm just gonna double tap to open the trunk it's just gonna beep a bit and slowly open up. I also wanna point out their rear view backup camera there. And coming into the back, I also wanna point out that this button's handy for closing the trunk. Now I'm just gonna lift up the seat, quickly show you how to stow and go the seats in the back with a great amount of space in the floor for shopping as well, and your jack storage. All you gotta do is follow your numbers. You pull one for the headrest to go down, two for the back to go down, three to detach it from the floor, and four to pull it back in. Oh, sorry, it seems like I made a mistake there. I'm just gonna pull two again, three to detach it from the floor, and four to pull it to pull it right into the ground great nice quick and easy sorry for the technical difficulties there as well I'm just gonna pull one here again just to show you that we can actually seat stadium seating nice quick and easy I'm also gonna show you how to put it back up all you got to do is pull the tab for four it clicks in you pull the tab for two the back folds back up and then you pull up the head awesome I want to thank you so much for doing this quick walk around of this 2015 Chrysler Town & Country in black. Hope you'll come down to Maple Ridge Chrysler to check out this vehicle or other new and used options. Remember, we're closer than you think. Bye-bye.